Good news everyone, the third volume of our art book, the book of illustrated Quran is ready to order. And of course, for you who wait until the three books are completed, you can order all of them at once. You can support us by buying these three books for your niece and nephew, or even for yourself. Link at the description below. It's not easy for a young man to make this decision, to leave home, to leave the only place all the people he's ever known. Like, he has to abandon everything familiar to him in that moment. It's a tough decision to make, but you know teenagers, sometimes they make a really, okay, fine, I'm leaving. And then 48 hours later, what happens? Baba, I love you, I'm sorry. And they come back. Possible? You need a decision, and this is not a young man's emotional decision. He needs to be firm on this decision. So he says, Rabbi Habli, Hukman, Master, give me firm decision making. Make me tough. Ya Allah, I want this decision and other decisions that will come in my life. Grant me the power to make difficult decisions. This is one of the most important du'as in our life because sometimes you and I know what the right thing to do is. We know what the right thing to do is. We know what decision has to be made. We can't do it because we don't have the willpower. It's in our head. We know what to do. We just can't do it. Rabbi habli hukman. This is the du'a of your father and my father. Learn this du'a. Master, give me firm decision making. And of course, I keep reiterating, he's leaving everyone and every human being he's ever had contact with is being left behind. No one familiar to you. He needs new company. And he says, وَأَلْحِقْنِي بِالصَّالِحِينَ Now that I've lost the company of my family, my friends, my society, my elders, my peer, everyone, Ya Allah, join me in the company of good people. Give me a new society. This is an acknowledgement by Ibrahim alayhi salam that if you want to be able to make good decisions, what do you need around you? You need good people around you. Even he says, I need the company of good people around me. Rabbi habli hukman wa alhitni bisarihin. And then he says something so beautiful. Wajali lisana sidqin fil akhirin. Give me a mention. The tongue of truth. What does that mean? A tongue of truth. It means in the last of generations to come. Hundreds of years from now, decades from now, centuries from now, millennia from now. Ya Allah, let people remember what I did for you. And let people tell the true story. Someone tell the true story about me. Some of us say, Lisana Sidqin fil Akhirin here. His dua was answered by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa I want you to appreciate that. This young man was leaving his village. Was that big news in the world? Did any historian record, hey, a young man named Ibrahim got kicked out of the village? And he made this dua. Did anybody record it? No. There was no camera. There was no recording. There was no transcript. There was no article. There was no post. There was no feed. There was, it wasn't posted on anybody's story. It wasn't on CNN. It wasn't on YouTube. It was nowhere. This incident happened. And a month from then, two months from then, no one knows, no one remembers. It died. That story died. And the only thing that is, remains, he says to Allah, Ya Allah, what really happened with me here? Let someone tell the truth about what happened here. Fil akhirin. In the last of people to come. Thousands of years later, when there is no record, no imagination of this man and what happened, this young boy and what happened with him, Allah gives that full story to our Prophet ﷺ and we recite it in his Qur'an. <laughs> SubhanAllah. Because that thousands of years ago, he just made this one dua, وَجَعَلْ لِي لِسَانَ صِدْقٍ فِي الْآخِرِينَ Ya Allah, just let someone tell the true story of what really happened with me. Because it'll inspire people, it'll help them. This is a sadaqa jariya. My sacrifice shouldn't just be my sacrifice. People should learn from it and it'll better their lives. Maybe they'll be able to take difficult steps towards you like I was able to take. If a young teenager can say, well, I'm just young. I'm you know, easily influenced. You know, I'm just a kid. Don't hold it against me. Peer pressure, societal pressure. But he has no excuses. He took the step. So now nobody gets to argue I'm too young for this.